God promises in Galatians 6, verse 9, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. When planting a garden, the soil must be broken up, the seeds planted, and then during the growing season, watering and the never-ending battle of keeping the weeds from stealing the nutrients that the plants need must be done. And then the harvest time comes. Back home, a severe thunderstorm came through and knocked over our sweet corn, which was already growing the ears. It would have been easy to give up, till the crop under, and then try again next year. But that would mean no sweet corn this year. And I love my sweet corn. So I tromped through the mud, stood the stalks up, covered the roots with big blotches of wet dirt, and sure enough, butter dripped from our chins in the fall. When it seems like you've tried and tried, yet no results, and then old Slewfoot tries to get you to quit your work for God, just remember, it's not harvest time yet, but it is coming. And Jesus wants his chin to drip with butter during the marriage supper of the Lamb. And don't forget, whatever you want to reap in the harvest must be decided before you plant the seed. Because whatever seed you plant will determine what you eat in the harvest. God made this so when he created the world. And God has applied the principle of sowing and reaping in our personal lives. God says, Therefore all things, whatsoever ye would, that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Having some problems with someone? What seeds have you been planting? Plant nothing but good seed and keep watering and keep weeding. And God promises, Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now, don't get tired and discouraged during the growing season. Keep weeding. Keep watering, and don't forget, God promises, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not.